feed dump. Fall wears on and it's a season of debates in one country in particular and the rest of the world cannot get away from it, even though, for the love of God, please just let November be over already. But you know what? There's other debates happening too, such as me. I'm my dad can beat up your dad. Joining me this week is guy who wants to get off a bus after his stop has gone by. You just missed my stop. No, sir, the light didn't go on. I pulled the cord. No, but the, the light didn't go on and I didn't hear the bell. Can you just pull over now? No, I can't because I can't stop where there's no stop. But I pulled the cord. Sir, you missed my you, stop. Can you please just go sit down? There's nowhere to sit. Sir, I need you to sit. And no, sir, you really didn't ask for ketchup on your burger. Why isn't there any ketchup on my burger? You didn't ask for ketchup. Why didn't you just put ketchup on the burger? Just know that I wanted ketchup. The menu says there's no ketchup on the burger. But everybody puts ketchup on a burger! I can get you a side of ketchup. No, I want this remade with ketchup on it. Are you serious? Everybody loves tattoos, but gosh, why does etching something permanently on your body happen to be so darn expensive? If you want a free tattoo, famed tattoo artist Scott Campbell is giving them out next week in London. Uh, the catch is you just put your arm through a hole and then you get what you get. You probably end up with just a dick. Or the Chinese word for dick. Or the Chinese words for just a dick. What do you think is going to happen when you just stick an appendage in a public hole? Something glorious. Oh no, Scott Campbell is way ahead of you. The name of this installation art project is Hole Glory. At least this artist has it right. I mean, what are artists thinking? Charging for their work? I mean, they should just be doing it for exposure. Or for the love of the craft. As you can see from Scott Campbell's Instagram, some of these tattoos that he's done are pretty great. And some of them are a Willie Nelson skull with the word trust on a bandana. Yeah, I'd sure be thrilled to get that one. No, no, this format has possibilities. I can think of all sorts of things in my normal line of work that I would love to use a glory hole for. Just bring a computer to the office, hand it over, and trust that I won't smash into a thousand bits because you're an idiot. How is that different from normal tech support? I don't work at Geek Squad anymore. Even children don't really want to go to Chuck E. Cheese, but I certainly don't want to go to Chuck E. Cheese in Miami after a 10 minute long brawl broke out because somebody looked at somebody else funny. And then that devolved into pushing, screaming, and hair pulling. Ten minutes? At what point did the adults get involved? It was the adults. My dad can beat up your dad! Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Watch! Get him, dad! I can understand why tensions run high at Chuck E. Cheese. The soundtrack is the most grating pop hits of the early 2000s. It's $90 to throw a pizza party for your kids, and what you get is cardboard draped in grease and skee-ball scum. And there's a mascot that smells suspiciously like urine trying to hit on your wife. There's no real punchline there. It's just pretty much everyone's experience at Chuck E. Cheese. That's so weird. As a kid, I went to Chuck E. Cheese and it was great. Oh, lucky! I never got to go! That's because my dad is the best. Nuh-uh! Yaha! Nuh-uh! Yaha! Nuh-uh! Yaha! Nuh-uh! Yaha! Nuh a Cincinnati woman has been charged with making a false alarm after she lied and said she was late to work because a scary clown attacked her. Kathleen, I don't know why you felt the need to append the word scary before clown. It's self-evident. I just love the back and forth that went through this person's mind. It's like their boss goes up, why were you late today? I was accosted by a scary clown. Really? A scary clown? I meant to say it was a giant murderous dog. A giant murderous dog? What breed? I found a body. A body? Did you call the police? No, because then I was almost hit by an evil Cadillac. I don't believe you. The Langoliers! Okay, feed dump, but join me on the reel here. Clowns are no longer necessary, right? I mean, we haven't needed any of those since like the 1600s to like tell the king that he's doing something wrong, but do it in a funny way. Beach, those are jesters. Serge, these are gestures. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Hmm. Whoa, beesh, 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 you better holster those weapons of mass destruction. And I would like to extend a heartfelt apology to our advertisers for such a horrible display in the show. Or I would if we had any advertisers, but we don't, because we do this for the love of the craft. And remember, there may be better sources of news, but they're beholden to big corporate interests. And they don't have this hat, which we got from Bowman. It is great and small, much like my bank balance. Art, like in life, you get what you pay for. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Dude, no, don't wave. If she continues making noise, I'll take her out. You gotta be quiet. Art. <laughs> 
okay.